Uh, yeah, Blaze was in a blast. So I've told this story before, but part of the reason why I wanted to try tons of different fighting games and I was always like, you know what? I don't really care. Whatever you play, whatever the game is, I'm sure the game's tight. I'll give it a try. The reason I'm very open to stuff is that the first ever EVO I went to was EVO 2014. I went with Filipino Man. If you guys don't know Filipino Man, he's a fucking nerd. He wanted to get good seats, so he's like, we have to go at 8 a.m. And that's the very famous Blaze Blue year. And it's like 8 o'clock in the morning, so I'm like hardly awake. And then I'm like, what the fuck is happening? So that was a really cool year. And because of the, all the games were so fun to watch that year, I was like, you know what? I should probably just give give whatever game a spin. And so to me, Blaze Blue has always been a really cool game. And I'm excited that it got updated with uh, Great Netcode. My experience so far, by the way, has been pretty solid. To be honest, I haven't really seen any rollbacks and I really haven't had a bad experience online. I honestly have not tried a lot of FAR connections. I've mostly been playing US players. I don't know about everybody else, but it's been quite good. Cody and I have played in mini games and if the rollback is not great, like Street Fighter V or KOF and Melty and they were bad, then it's really immediately noticeable our connection is not good because it's like SoCal to Georgia, right? And my experience has been really solid. My biggest hope is that this game gets a lot of the great quality of life features that Plus R got because obviously right now, it has some issues, right? One of the big ones is that you can't instant rematch. And that was something that wasn't in plus R for like, I think it was like eight months probably or something. <laughs> like, I feel like it was a long time before instant rematch came to plus R. Currently, the online is great. And so I hope that everything else around it, all the other features and instant rematch and all that kind of stuff gets fixed pretty quickly because the experience of playing against another player is awesome. When the netcode's good, it's very hard to stop. I'm really happy that it happened. The team that was working on the blaze blue mod that ended up being the ones to add rollback they are incredible and same thing with tfc who worked on plus r awesome stuff and arc system works they really just like showed up and are like you're doing what now all right you can do it they just had these people who are really uh big fans of their game and are working on cool stuff already and they're like you guys want to make this happen we can give you some money you guys can make it happen cool and then everybody's happy right everybody's buying buying blaze blue and and plus r and it's cool a lot of people either were not playing fighting games when this game came out or did not try this game for very long because maybe the online dissuaded them maybe they were playing other games at the time maybe they just weren't interested at the time essentially this is a brand new fighting game for a lot of people you kind of see this a lot when games like this happen where people are like well the player base, it spiked to 4,700 or whatever, which is cool. That's a, a big spike for an older fighting game that's just getting a, an update, right? This number is going to go down eventually, right? And all these people who tried the game, not all of them are going to stick. They're not going to make Blaze with their, their main game. They're going to leave. And that attitude is obviously grumpy and silly. But the important thing to recognize is not just that all these people tried the game and then eventually they're going to leave and not make it their own their main game because... Uh, that's very normal that big group of people that tried the game now right myself included in them now know way more and are way interested in blaze blue than they were before this update so now all of these people when a blaze blue tournament happens or a blaze blue event is going to go on or some local community tournament or something that the community is always run or whatever shows up so many of these new people are going to be like, oh, I want to watch Blaze Blue. I tried this game out. I'm not playing it as much, but I want to see what high level play looks like. And now the average understanding of the series from just the public is going to be much better because people are going to be like, oh, yeah, I played that Blaze Blue game. I know this character controls the wind or whatever. So this will help, I think, the public perception a lot. And even more importantly, the people who do stick with the game or the people who have stuck with the game now have good online play to play against each other which that is worth it in itself even if zero new players tried the game the people who love the game being able to just play it they this is a huge w know. you know a lot of people who want to play fighting games one of the biggest barriers for them can be finding new players in an old fighting game right and lately that has been less of a challenge for basically every game but now most people i think have a way better chance of finding someone their skill level in blaze blue than ever before and i think Getting into Blaze Blue is a lot easier than many of the other older games that have gotten rollback, I'll be honest. It's not like as archaic as those games feel, right? There's a buffer and it's a more modern game. And, you know, part of the reason people flame Blaze Blue, right, is because they're like, everybody who plays this game, it's Blaze Babies. This game is made to be easy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, which is really funny because now it's like, oh, you guys are going to play Blaze Blue? Well, now you got to learn a hard fighting game. It's pretty funny to to think back on that. Eh? It's like before it was the meme baby game. It was like Guilty Gear is the hard game. And now it's like, oh, cool. You know, I've talked about this a lot. But when I was 
starting to learn fighting games that was like the common perception on the series but also street fighter 4 fans in general were the worst humans on the planet and just constantly talk shit about every game that was not street fighter 4 so it didn't matter if you were a blaze baby or you're playing guilty gear x turd whatever you're playing like Street Fighter 4 players were like, we are so much better and our game is so much better than everything on the planet. The best player on the planet for your game is worse than the worst Street Fighter player ever. And I was like, okay. Go off, King. Tell him. Blaze is a ton of fun. And I think that it shouldn't surprise you if you've never played it that the game is a blast. The gameplay designs for so many of the characters are so fucking cool. Like, they're just, they have so many cool character arcs. And a lot of people are like, I'm really scared to try such and such character because they're too hard or too whatever. Like, just try them. Trust me. They, you'll figure them out. <laughs> I'm in playing Noelle, and everybody says she's an easy character, but she's still hard. If this is easy, what's hard? I'm going to tell you something important. When you're learning a new game, every character will feel hard because you're learning a new game. So you're having to absorb so much at once. Like you're trying to learn the game and the systems of the game along with your character and every character you fight against at the same time. And so because you're trying to absorb all these things, no matter what character you pick, they will feel hard when you first start playing the game. So that's why when people say, pick up an easy character at the beginning of the game, I don't like that advice because no matter what you pick, it's gonna be hard. Just pick the character that you think is cool and don't care if they're hard or not. And then over time, you'll pick up a lot of stuff and you'll be fine. I don't even know what most of the spells do with nine. I learned the spells that seem good and then the other spells, I was like, eh, we'll get to it. I'm not paying attention in every class. I'm like really focused on defense against the dark arts and potions class, but every other class, I'm just flunking. I'm not paying any fucking attention at all. It does not matter, okay? I learned the rock. I learned the freeze. I learned wind wind into fucking spell, and I'm good. The problem with picking an easy character is you're not playing the character you want to play. The second thing is if you're not doing well right away with an easy character, you're going to be like, dude, I can't even figure out or win with an easy character. How am I supposed to learn this game? This game is impossible. And the third thing, most of the characters who are hard in fighting games also are hard for something way down the line. To start, most characters, you can do a couple of very basic things and have success regardless. There's not that many characters where just doing a few simple things doesn't take you far. Yeah, anyway, Blaze Blue is a blast. I highly recommend it. If you're looking for another new game to try, why not, right? Listen. You know, I was like out in public and I was drinking from this and I was thinking to myself, I wonder if somebody can see the guapo. Like I was in my car or something and I was like, I wonder if somebody is staring at the bottom of this bottle and they just see the guapo there. Like.